Hello, everybody. Hello, my dear friends. Thank you so very much for being here. Thank you for watching my channel, Ivana Tero. My dear friends, this is Weekly Love Tero, reading for astrological sign, Virgo. My dear Virgos, both female and male, thank you so very much for stopping by. New week in front of all of us, starting with these dates, November 28th till December the 2nd, 2016. Well, you know that I will try to do my best. I will try to tell you up in front what type of energies you can expect in this upcoming week. What type of events, news or information. We have five tarot cards as usual. And don't forget, a little bit later, I will reveal additional two tarot cards, which stays at the bottom of my tarot deck after my shuffling my tarot deck. Okay, so... Before I proceed, let me just remind you, please listen also your moon sign and your rising sign as well. Believe me, you can learn even so much more information about your upcoming week. So, my dear Virgos, both female and male, let's get started. Okay. Oh, nasty major arcana death, but don't start freaking out. I will explain. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Prince of Swords, and Two of Cups. And don't forget, you have additional two cards. Okay, my dear Virgos, I know, I know, I know. Don't start, you know, freaking out. Oh my god, I'm going to die, I have this major kind of death. No honey, you ain't gonna die, nobody is dying, you know. So calm yourself down. Okay, first things come first. Now, listen. Who is this Queen of Pentacles? You might be a woman or man, still this is your tarot card. Queen of Pentacles, honey, this is you. And this major arcana death is basically saying, Honey, change of some kind is in front of you, whether you like it or not. Listen to me what I have to say to you. Yeah, 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding, of course. No, actually, I'm not kidding. Okay. Okay, be serious for a few seconds. Now listen to me. This tarot card really is saying, honey, time has come. Time is now, whether you like it or not. You need to break with some old nasty, you know, BS habits. Maybe you have so many walls, you know, built all around you. Because I think many Virgos people, you can't invite like nobody in your space. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't need anybody. Leave me alone. But, honey, listen. Listen. Can you see the six of cups? This is you and your brother. This is you and your sister. Maybe even you with, I don't know, could be any sick. Could be any relative, you know, member of your family. Could be even your very best friend, you know. Could be like anybody. Even your neighbor, neighbor you know. Somebody is trying and really, really to talk you in. That basically you need to change something inside of you. So, I don't know. You might fancy this reading. Maybe you will say this is, you know, BS. But don't do that. Listen, listen, you know. Take a moment. Think a little bit about what basically I am saying to you. You need to change this. This not cold behavior, you're not cold type of woman or man, this is not what I wanted to say, but kind of, you know, aloof, you know, I have everything in my life, I have my house, my business, you know, my job, I have my steady incomes, I have my hobby, I have my car, I have my, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, whatever, but honey, this is what you are missing, you're missing love, six of cups, this is love, this is love, so if you want that those beautiful flowers basically flourished inside of your garden, and garden, basically this is, you know, your heart. If you want that love flourished inside of your life, honey, you need to change something. And let me proceed with this. My job is to translate symbols. So this is exactly what it is. Prince of Swords. Now somebody is already ready. To break old habits, to break even this hatred, this angriness that you still, you know, keep inside of your heart. Somebody is ready to help you with that, 
to explain to you that you need, honey, to change yourself. Somebody maybe is wanting to enter into your heart. But honey, you are so tough. You are so tough. Simply, you do not want to make it easy for some men to enter into your life. Because honey, I know you are wounded. You are wounded. Many things are still unhealed in your life. Somebody is here and now ready to help you. Really, really to help you. Can you see? But I think that you do not want to listen. So either you are stuck because this nasty somebody, you maybe, most likely you did, you gave your heart away, you fall deeply, deeply in love, and this person reject you. At least this is what I can see. If this is your story, honey. Now, you have only two choices. Only two. Not five. Two. So whether you like it or not, you can stay in this misery of your life, hating everybody else, the whole wide world, you know, blaming, you know, everybody and everything. Or... You might say to yourself, Okie dokie, I learned something new. Okie dokie, now I am ready to accept that I can make some mistakes. I can misjudge other people. So what? Now you are much more clever. And honey, you know, just move on, move on, move on. Because look what is in front of you. But only if you allow yourself to receive love in your life. Only if you allow yourself to fall in, for, to fall in love. So first you need to forget about this nasty, nasty man who might promise you, you know, I will buy you moon, sun, all stars, you know, on heaven. You know, BS, honey. BS. So, first of all, heal your heart and, you know, admit yourself that you fall for somebody who is, you know, full of BS. And then just move on. Okay. The final tarot card is Two of Cups. This is falling in love. Prince of Swords. I don't think that this is somebody new. I think that you already know this person. This must be somebody that for many, many years, you, all, you already know this man. You already know him. So, this man might enter into your life. All of a sudden, all of a sudden he might admit. What about me? What about me? You using me, honey. You cry upon my shoulder for how many years? And not having a clue. That I am here being your shoulder to cry on because I love you. Huh? Go figure. How about that? So, calm yourself down. Stop crying. Change a little something inside, you know, how way you perceive other people. And give a chance to this man. He might be. Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Might be. Doesn't have to be. All I'm saying might be. With Capricorn and with Taurus, you might have a big, big, big problems in your life. But if you are already married, then be careful of energies of, you know, ending. Be careful. If you still love your spouse, then say that to him, to her, loud and clear. Still, you don't have to lose your marriage, but you need to spend some time and, you know, you need to talk with your spouse. This time, openly. Very, very openly. Okay, now I'm ready to put additional to tarot cards. Major Arcana, the Empress and Queen of Wands. Now, who does... 
people can be in your life. Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries, Taurus, Capricorn. And I told you already, I mentioned, I think, those signs. So, this is passion. Queen of Wands, this is like having a King of Wands. So, everything depends on your gender, you know. So, this is somebody very, very skilled. You even might fall for somebody who is skilled in love as such. Be aware of somebody who basically is here and now to stall your heart. Or at least this is what you might conclude, you know, superficial relationship. Or at least you might decline. You might, you know, say, nope, I don't want you because you sound, you look to me so superficial. And these men are going to take this uh, as an uh, insult. How dare you? How dare you? But as far as I can see, <laughs> your reply is going to be, you know, okay, then prove it to me that I'm wrong. Okay, I'm waiting and then, you know, bang, out of the blue. This person really might show you what basically love is all about. This is somebody very, very passionate. Somebody too fast, too strong for your heart. To tell you the truth, you are afraid of this type of person. And I mean it. You are afraid that somebody will enter into your life, you know, out of the blue. Somebody will stall your heart and never give you back your heart, you know. So you are afraid of this type of person. Very, very passionate one. Above all, you are afraid that this is superficial. Somebody who wants to enter into your life. Okay, all I'm saying, give him a chance. Because, at least for some of you, this person will show to you what love is all about. Honey, you can't have, all I'm saying, you just can't have plan, even a backup plan for love. There is no such a thing on this planet Earth, you know, backup plan for love relationship as such. None. Impossible. Don't believe in somebody, you know, say something of that kind. You need to have a backup plan. Nope. Nope. You need to take a risk. So if you are willing to take a risk, you know, take this opportunity and, you know, at least... You know, try to do something totally differently like before. All I'm saying, give it a try. Okay, my dear Virgos, this is your weekly love tarot reading. Don't forget, please subscribe on my channel. Hit this like button and, and, and share this video with your friends. Until next week, bye-bye and take care.